Hey guys, Dark Recycle and FPV, and I was asked to look at a product here, which is going to be the Mango Setup. Let me show you where I'm at on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just open this one up. It has not been opened yet. Let's check this out. Um, a customer said that he wanted to see about how to wire it if he doesn't use the PDB, and I just couldn't remember. Uh, I haven't looked at these in a while, but I do know that I, I do like the setup a lot. It's a very easy board to work with. Um, but let me just see uh, what we've got here. So this is an F3 board. And the way, if you're not going to use the PDB, so here's the PDB that comes with it, okay, right here, and it's a very good PDB. I mean, the whole setup, like I said, it's very good, very easy to use, very easy to plug and just go. But if you just want to attach this to an ESC, okay, uh, the problem here is that, and this is, I think, what he was concerned about is this board does not uh, have a, a, an input greater than 5 volts coming into it from the ESC. So uh, in this case, the question then is, well, what do you do um, uh, to uh, bring in a 12 volt, for example, or if you need to have more than that? So I'm looking here, and it actually looks like right here, actually it does, it looks like right here is where it's at. So if you're gonna use your own ESC, let me see if I can plug this in. Okay, if you're gonna use your own ESC, I think what the confusing part was is that it didn't have, it has a five volt coming from this location, right? Right here, okay? Uh, and I put this, let me put this, oh, that's right, that's right. So, so what you have is you have five volt coming from here, uh, and that's gonna go into here as well for your PDB, all right? I mean, from your PDB. So let me just turn this around, show you what we're working with here. Okay, there's that, okay? But then you're also gonna have a 12 volt coming from here. So if you wanna bring 12 volt to your board and you do not wanna use this PDB, uh, but you wanna bring 12 volt in, then just make sure that you split your, um, you have your uh, signal wires coming into this location here. Make sure not to use this pin which would be, if you turn, if you look at the board here, uh, well, if you look at it this way, let me line these up for you. Let me disconnect this here and let me line these up for you so we know exactly what we're looking at, okay? So the order of this board, you're gonna follow this order wire mapping here. So you're gonna have ground, is the far left with black, five volt with red, then you have your motors, four, three, two, one. So if you're coming from your ESC, you're gonna need to make sure that you do not plug your 12 volt or VBAT or whatever it may be where this red wire goes. Instead, that needs to go over here, okay? So in that case, you would then bring, you can either cut this cable on this end, plug it into your board like this, and remove this end, right? And then if you look at the wiring here, it tells you on the back here, battery, current, 12 volt, and ground. So you have, you have your, let me put this back just like that. So you'll have your ground, your 12 volt, your current, and then your direct VBAT right here, okay? So if I had to guess, and I'm gonna test this out real quick just to make sure that's right, uh, I am going to take a multimeter, okay, and I'm gonna put it on my current sensor here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start like this. I'm gonna go from what would be considered my battery. So I'm actually gonna to touch the positive here and touch here, you see, and we have, we're connected. So then I'm gonna come on over here and I'm gonna to touch that right here, okay? But you will not get it here because it's actually got a voltage regulator that changes the voltage to 12 volt in right here. So if you wanna bring your VBAT in, you come in here, okay? If you wanna bring in 12 volt, you come here. But if you bring your VBAT in here, then you're golden. You have no problems and I'll tell you that uh, you can bring that in and then let's see the rest of your board. So uh, if we look at this, we're going to see, I'm just going to run this along real quick, see if I can find any, there is not, I don't know if there are any other pads, let me see right here. I don't see any other pads that are testing for uh, VBAT. So you're, if you have, uh, I don't know, like a 5S or, sorry, not a 5S, but let's say you have a 4S, um, you're, it doesn't look like there's going to be any pads on here. They're gonna take that out. Now, what it does look like though, is that here's your 12 volt here, okay? And so I'm gonna see if there's any other, let me see if I can get this. 
right here and check. Okay, so right here on your VTX is your 12 volt. It's not your VBAP, but that's gonna be your 12 volt right there, okay? So you can bring in your, uh, let me just connect this real quick. So you can bring in 12 volts directly, or you can bring in VBAT directly, okay? And that's gonna go right here to 12 volts, all right? And then the rest of your current is gonna be like normal. So hope that makes sense. So again, what you're gonna do is if you don't wanna use, if you do not wanna use the PDB, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna use a small cable that came with this, and you're gonna end up cutting this off, and you're gonna solder accordingly. You're gonna solder based on this, the wiring that matches here. So black would be ground, like normal. Red would be a 12 volt. Blue would be current. And then yellow would be the direct battery voltage, okay? So like to your LiPo, uh, to your red pad or whatever it may be on your ESC. So if your ESC has an outgoing VBAT, uh, red cable, then that's going to go where the yellow is. So you're going to basically merge these two wires together. So uh, cut your cut your um, uh, end of your or take out the red cable from your ESC that is a VBAT cable and solder it to the end of this yellow cable, and then you will have your 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 VBAT coming in. If you want to bring in 12 volt, then you will do that as well by bringing in the 12 volt from here. So. Uh, Either way, you'd be fine. It shouldn't be a problem at all. But that's how you're going to do it if you don't want to use this um, uh, PDB with it, if that makes any sense. Then you will use this cable here to still bring in your motor, motor and signal wires. Okay? So just like that, that's how it works. So if you have a 4-in-1 ESC and you want to attach it, I'm looking to see if I have something laying around, but I don't. But assuming this was a 4-in-1 ESC and the cables are all in the front, like, <coughs> let's say, an 8-pin uh, cable, you're going to need to connect the ground and the positive here, or at least uh, get the ground and positive here using the black and the yellow. Now, if your ESC has a 12 volt coming off of it, then you can use that as well. Uh, but just, just pay attention here that the only connection that I test here that works with the 12 volt is the center pin for the VTX. Everything else is gonna be uh, five volt mainly, okay? And I, oh, actually, you know what? Let me check the camera as well. Let me go check the camera because it's got a it's got a center pod too. Let me just check. Okay, so the camera and the VTX would both be 12 volt. Uh, those are going to be 12 volt pads. All right, and that pretty much does it. So if you have any if you don't want to use this one and you just want to save some room on your stack and just attach this flight controller directly to your um, uh, uh, 4-in-1 ESC, you can do that. You just have to make sure that you pull the two wires off. Uh, of the clip going into here and just make sure that you attach them here for your ground and for your VBAT and you should be just fine. All right, guys, I hope that helps. Uh, if, it, if you need any help or you need me to do this uh, and show you how it's done, I'll find a, um, I'll find a 401 ESC. I just didn't have one sitting in front of me right now to do that, but it's pretty simple. Just make sure you come in here for your VBAT and use the yellow cable and just use your uh, PDB that comes with this board as your reference. So it's telling you here that it's ground 12 volt current and battery. So use that coming from ESC for the ground and the VBAT and then use here for ground and your motors. And that will wrap it up because I think on here, just like it says, it's five volts. So again, only if you have five volt in or you will blow this board. So do not plug your ESC VBAT into here or else you'll blow this board. All right, let me know if you have any questions guys. Otherwise be safe and we'll talk to you soon. Peace.